What's up guys? Today in Ark Survival Evolved, we're going to be tackling a build challenge that is currently taking place on the Geeks Ragnarok server. So the challenge is to build a small house. So we're going to be designing this house and building it together. I will take you through the build step by step. And then once we have the build together, I'm going to go ahead and decorate it like you see here. And in the end, this thing looks pretty freaking sweet, I think. So stick around. I'll show you guys how to build this, and I'll be back in just a second. Hello everyone, and thank you for stopping by. I hope that you all are doing well today. I am Yo-Yo Y2K for Crap Fire Gamers, and today I'm playing Ark Survival Evolved on the Geeks Patreon server. So we're on Ragnarok, where we were last time and the episode before. We have recently completed the workshop. Uh, since we were last here, I went ahead and built a couple more things. Like, we got a fabricator up, we've got... Oh, I actually made another bed, like a new bed. That looks nice. I like that bed. Got a table, some chairs. Got a few other stuff downstairs. Got, you know, just some more workshop type stuff in. Uh, got a cooking pot. We got some more mortars and pestles. Got the S plus crafting station. Got another forge. So we, I don't know. I've been doing a little bit off camera, getting ready for today's episode. And as you saw in the preview today, we're actually going to be building. And this is going to be like another build kind of tutorial. I'm going to take you guys through the build and this is kind of fun because today we're actually going to work on a challenge that is currently taking place on the server and that is like a little build challenge basically there are a few rules that we need to abide by but other than that we're just free to come up with whatever we want free to roam and so what we're going to be working on is actually a little adobe outpost so i have like i had the plans in my like in my mind, I actually did the like I tested the build out on my local game just to make sure everything would work and to give me an idea of what like how many structures I needed for everything because I I went ahead and I crafted up everything. I hopefully I have everything I need. <laughs> we might get over there and find out that we were missing some stuff. So I've got a lot of Adobe stuff with me on Zeus here. So we'll hopefully have everything that we need to do the build so we'll just do this like a tutorial and we will go over to the spot and once we're over there I'll bring you guys back and we'll do the build so I haven't actually been over to the plot where we're going to be building so I don't know what is over there currently I'm sure that other people have been building as well but I haven't been over there to take a look so hopefully what I have in mind will be somewhat original <laughs> it would suck if we get over there and what I'm going to build is really <laughs> really similar to what people have already built so hopefully that's not the case but we'll head over to the island where we're gonna be building well I guess I should say too that if you guys enjoy the build please don't forget to leave a like down below it really helps us out and we really appreciate it and if you want to see more videos from us you can check out some of the links in the description below you can also head over to our channel page, check out some videos there. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And with that, let me get over to the island where our plot is, and we will start the build. Alright guys, so I've made it over to the island where the build challenge is taking place, and I found my plot. I was assigned to plot 12. So this back here is what we have to work with, and I think we'll be able to build back here. What I have in mind isn't that big, so we're not going to need a ton of space. So, yeah, I think we're ready to get started. Pretty much the biggest inhibitor to the build is that we can only use 10 foundations. Uh, that includes foundations and ceilings that could be used as like a second floor. So only 10, so it'll be a small build. So if we're over here, let's turn it so that it's like this. So we're going to start off with a 2x3. 
And I'm just trying to get this lined up. So maybe right there we'll start with. Like that here. All right, so there is a two by three. And I'm using S plus pretty much just because that way I can pick it up. I don't have to break it if I make a mistake. I did the test build on my local game and I built it with... Oh, is this going to be wrong? Ah, crap. I'm going to have to redo this, see? <laughs> I have this place wrong here. Let's do this. Actually, let's do it like this. Ah! See, this is why I built with S+. We're going here like that. So we have our 2x3 here, and then I'm going to have another little structure off the side. But I'm actually going to pick that up for now. And what we're going to do next is put down some pillars. Another nice thing about using S+, is that the pillars can snap to the corners without needing without needing fence foundations. When I built this on my local game and I was using totally vanilla, I had to put down some fence foundations in order to get these pillars to place to the corners like that. But with S+, plus, we can just put them down like this. So I'm going to come back like that, do the same thing to the other side. So I have just taking, taken my corners and I put pillars on them. And then we're going to come right here to this one and put a pillar there because this will be a little entryway. We're going to have an entryway coming up here and then we'll walk into the main building right here. So that is our beginning structure. And next I'm going to go ahead and put down the other two foundations. I thought I dragged them down. Must be some lag. Yeah, definitely got some lag going on. Da 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 bum 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 bum. The server encounters a lot of lag. <laughs> See, there we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, so like that. Now we also need to put a pillar there, there, and then we're going to have one here and there. So the next step for me is to grab a couple of these larger pillars. I think these are the mediums. Come back with the medium pillars over here. Put one there and put one there. So this is our structure so far. Okay, so next we need to start putting in some walls. Well, let's put some glass in first. This is going to be a adobe or an adobe glass build. So like that. If you have watched my stuff before, you know that I absolutely love incorporating greenhouse class anywhere that I can. So I have an extra. I can go up there. Right, we'll find out in a minute. So I love using greenhouse glass and I love the way Adobe and glass looks together. One of my favorite styles. When I was doing my tests, I contemplated using, like going for a log cabin type, but we're kind of over here on this little island, and I kind of felt like Adobe. I felt like doing like a little beach house type deal, kind of like a little Adobe out, out, not outhouse, but outpost. So we're going to come back with walls, line the walls like that, wall, wall, window frame, oh come on. So, window frame in the middle. Replace that wall. Hopefully that doesn't make us come up short. 
see, and I placed that wrong. And there. And actually, right here, I think I want another window. The window right here. Yeah, there we go. And then put a wall in there. Up to there. And then let's do a line of windows. Actually, let's do window. Wall. Window. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and put a door frame in. Our door frame is going to be right here. Right there. Like that. Yep. And then put a wall on top. And then I think a window frame right there. Okay, so now I need another wall. And I th think we're going to go like this. We're going to go here, up, and up. And then, let's see, I need to put down my hatch frame, which is going to go up there or here. up there. Let's go hatch frame up there. And my ladders are still on Zeus. Grab some ladders. So there. Alright, get up top here. And put down a ceiling right there. And this is going to be our little bedroom. Just be a small little bedroom, but... Ah! Uh-oh. Don't need a whole lot of space. So let's go ahead and put our peaks onto the greenhouse bits. So right there and there. Come back, do that over here. And then I need one more greenhouse wall. Um, please tell me I have another greenhouse wall. <laughs> and whew, one more. Did I get it? I did. Greenhouse wall right up here. Like that. You know, and actually... I think on this back side, we need to go up another one. I need to take the pillar up one more, but I don't think I can get the pillar in there now. Or can I? Oh, nice! Awesome! Alright, so if I get rid of this, those walls won't fall, right? I don't think so. Oh, good. It always makes me nervous to pick up stuff. I'm always afraid it's going to fall. So come upstairs. And we want to put I think a window. You know what? We need some more. There. And Let's go ahead, put a wall there, put a wall there. I'm trying to decide where to put, uh, okay, that didn't hurt. <laughs> I'm trying to decide where to put that last window frame. I kind of wish I had another one. I might need to go back and make another window frame. Alright, so I'm going to put a wall here, a wall back there, and then our last two window frames are going to go on either side right there. So this is our little bedroom area, and we can go ahead 
put the peaks on here. So like that. Those aren't matched up right. All right, so I fixed this wall. It it was down farther than the other ones, and it was bugging me. It was just sunk down a little bit more into the ceiling than the other walls around it, so it wasn't lining up just right. So there, and there is our little peak. So now we can climb down, go grab our ceilings, and this place is almost finished. And I, oh, okay, gosh, whew. I was like, crap, but now they're here. Okay, so, put one there, and get snap just right here. Come on, come on. They didn't snap right. Uh, come on. There it is. Okay. And now to go up top. Come on. There's one of them. And there's the other. Sweet. Let's take a look at this. I am actually going to need another ceiling and another sloped ceiling because I want to have a little awning here. Well, not an awning, but like a little... Oh, that looks nice. Very nice indeed. Let's put the windows in. Windows and door. So I'm using glass for all this because it kind of stays with the theme of a glass adobe structure. And here, let's actually move these down to, on the hot bar. So we'll put one up there, and then we're going to come right there. Then we have some up top to do. All right. So for the most part, this is our main structure. Very cool. I'm actually going to come back. I left that there. I, With the S+, Plus, you can get those sloped right and sloped left walls to snap upside down. But I'm actually going to utilize this space right here with a little catwalk and put some little storage boxes on it. So I actually need to go grab some stuff to decorate the place with. And we'll also grab another ceiling. One thing I do have that I can put down that is in Zeus, we can put down our stairs. So I need to go grab a couple more things. A couple things to decorate with and a couple more ceilings. But once I have that, I will be back. Switch to stairs. Take a look at this. Oh, we're in the water. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. I hope the judges like it as well. So I'll be back in just a minute, guys. All right, so I have been working on decorating this house like all afternoon, off and on, while I've done other stuff. Like, it's probably been a good six hours that I've spent kind of placing stuff and changing things around and replacing and trying to figure out what to put where and I think that I came up with something that looks pretty sweet so the structure hasn't changed all I did was I went ahead and I added you know the little sloped ceiling over our little deck and other than that I have just decorated the place so this is what it looks like see I got a like a window box like a flower box under the window got a chimney in there for a fireplace the outside looks kind of nice, I think. Uh, it looks very, I don't know, like Mediterranean, I guess. 
I like all the planners around, all the, like the ivy on the side. That's pretty cool, I think. I love that so much. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I should add some ivy. Okay, I keep, I keep seeing stuff where I'm like, oh, you know what? I could add this or change that around. Eventually, you just gotta call it good. So I got a fountain here. So we're using a lot of mods with this to decorate. Um, basically, for the competition, the structure was supposed to be built vanilla or with S+. I did S+, plus just so I could pick stuff up and replace it if I needed to, instead of having to break it. Some of this stuff, well, you know, with Adobe, it's pretty expensive to try to build all this stuff. So, got some flippers on our porch, got a mailbox, and I actually managed to place this lamp inside the pole for the mailbox. So that's kind of cool, kind of gives it a little mailbox slash lamp feel. Now it's starting to rain. So we got our little forge here on the porch. Got a little box up there with some flowers in it. We've got the you know the glass door that we had before. I don't know why it won't close, but come inside. This is our entryway. I need to figure out something to put right here. I need like a painting or something. I had a canvas up there. I'll show you. I had this canvas up here. Like that. Oh, it must be a, I think we're experiencing some lag. So I had a painting up there and I was going to like take a picture and like paint it. Then I looked at the requirement. Oh, look at this. Yeah, lag. So I looked at the requirement for building the camera. It's stupid expensive to build. So I'm probably not going to go that route. But I thought it'd be cool to have like a little painting up above the door. We've got the like a blueprint rack up there. Um, it's got the long neck rifle on it. The lights are really cool that are on it. Whenever it's dark, like at night, this little hallway, this little entryway, it glows like a nice bright yellow, kind of an amber color. It's pretty sweet. Of course, it's got a little display that has the like the survivor uh, implant, and we've got some scuba here. Anglerfish on the wall. Can go upstairs to the bedroom. Got the bed moved over a little bit, and then we have a little nightstand with a globe on top, and there's a message in a bottle. Almost see the message. Actually, I can't even see the message. Got a little shelf up there with some packages on it. Got some luggage right there at the foot of the bed. There's a little table, not a table, but a floor runner on on the floor underneath. But this is our bedroom. Get under the hood and climb down the stairs. And here is the main living space. So we've got the bear rug on the floor. Got the fireplace. And then actually I was able to craft up a little, I don't even remember what it's called. Um, a little mantle to go in front of the fire. Little metal rods. And, oh, up, up here. I was going to put some storage up there, but I decided to actually go ahead and put our generator up there. Kind of tuck it up and out of the way. Got a little, it's hard to see, but there's a ship in that bottle. Um, of course, there's a little bench right here we can set and observe and hang out. Got a fabricator. Got a little S-plus crafting station. Got a fire on top. So you can use this fire if you need to. And there's some shelves up there. That's an actual storage box. Um, there's a bonsai tree. Another storage box on a shelf. This is actually some storage. Um, just a decorative storage chest. Got a chair we can sit in beside the fire. It looks like our fire went out. Probably out of wood. Or did I? Oh, I hit it. So I can sit in this chair by the fire, look outside. Got a little table here with a book. Got the little Rex on the book. Mortar and pestles on here for practicality purposes and also because it kind of looks like a dish. There are some different food mods on here that we could have put down, but I wanted the mortar and pestle on here. Like I said, for functionality purposes, we can use them to craft stuff up. 
if we needed to make spark powder or clay or, or whatever. Got a candle in the middle of the table. Got a little... It's a, I think it's actually an RG model. A little black bird in the cage back in the corner. We can sit in this chair back here too. Can sit in the chair and look around. We can't go into K mode or else we look in our chest. Oh yeah. Uh, we've got a piano. I think the piano... I don't know. I don't know. I don't think the piano does anything, but it's really cool. I like it. It looks nice. It's got a little book there. It's got a squid on it. Of course, we got a camera placed around. I tried to kind of place stuff around kind of at random, make it look kind of lived in. Uh, got another... This is actually another storage chest. This is one of the decorative ones. It's got some tools on it. There's a rifle up top. Got a donkey up on the mantle, like over the fireplace. A little trophy. So that's pretty much it. It's not a very big house, but we really filled it full. This is, I, I like it a lot. I like how, I don't like how busy it is. It's cool. It's very, very busy, but it's organized in a way that we can actually use it. Like, there is definitely functionality in the design. We'll be able to, like, if this were an actual base, we could definitely use this to, I don't know, do stuff, like a base. Uh, one thing that I don't have that I might need to add in would be, like, a little, like, a feeding trough. Maybe put the feeding trough, like, right here in this little gap. Other than that, I think that this is pretty much finished and ready for the judges to take a look at it. And I think they're going to judge it later this week. So we'll see. we got lots of others around. You can see there's a couple over there. Got one, like a little cabin over here, it looks like. Well, that looks nice. I like that. It's very cool. There's a lot of really good builders on this. So hopefully this is a little more than average. I was like, ah, you know, there's so many good builders on here that I'll be lucky if my build is even average. <laughs> but I think we did a pretty good job. I think that this turned out well. I'm definitely happy with it. So I'm going to go right here. Stand and look this way. So I hope that... Why am I floating? Uh, I am floating up here. I want to do an outro, but I want to stand. Yeah, This is better. Alright guys. So I hope that you have enjoyed the build. I hope that you enjoy this little house. It's very, very cool. I like it quite a bit. If you did enjoy this, please don't forget to leave a like down below. It really helps us out and we really appreciate it. And if you guys want to see more videos from us, you can check out some of the links in the description below. You can also head over to our channel page, check out some videos there. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And with that, thank you for watching and look up. I'll See you guys next time.